Super stuff. Good morning, everybody. Lovely to see you all and a big, warm welcome to, to Dublin and also to Ireland. Um, so this is going to be a short intro just to give you a bit of a, a taste and a flavor as to what the blockchain ecosystem looks like here in Ireland and more specifically how it's evolved actually since around 2015 and also to give a bit of an insight as to the importance of entities and companies like the Hyperledger Foundation and the Linux Foundation and what they've done to help establish Ireland's blockchain ecosystem. So if we look at, I guess, the, the magic ingredients that make up an ecosystem, if we look at Silicon Valley, it always, all the research always comes back to these four components. So government, okay, we know about that, corporates, which we're all, I guess, a bunch of us are members of, academia, and then startups. And what's really important here is the mix, right? If you have three, that's good, but it doesn't quite come together. It's all about the ingredients coming together, the four components, and actively working together. And that's when you get that Jeff Bezos flywheel style effect. Okay, and you'll, you'll see why I'm telling you stuff you probably already know lots about. So in the beginning, right, back in 2015, it started with some very curious companies. That's what it was, it was curiosity that created the ecosystem. It was, what is this technology? Will it or does it have a chance to disrupt my business? And what can we do about it? And kind of more importantly, how do we work together to figure out are there ways for us to develop this, this new internet technology? So through IDA Ireland, which is the entity in Ireland here responsible for attracting a number of your companies here in the first place, it's about bringing foreign direct investment in, and also Enterprise Ireland, which is about, I suppose, funding um, indigenous businesses in Ireland. And then we had a bunch of financial services entities, also notably IBM from this list, um, obviously a, a big hyperledger contributor came together to basically set up working groups to try and understand what this new technology was all about. And we ended up actually creating a project around regulatory reporting in which the Central Bank of Ireland was an observer. So how do we use blockchain technology in order to effectively minimize the amount of kind of manual reports that are sent through to create real-time data flows to regulators and stock exchanges, which is actually a pretty cool project. Anyway, okay, I gotta move at pace because I have a very short amount of time. The, we see how it's grown, right? And so what was missing, I guess, from here, we had governments, we had corporates. But what we didn't have, we didn't have academia and we didn't have startups. So what we started to see back then in 2018 was the addition of really important components. So we look at aid tech and also we look at consensus who came in. We start to see the addition of, I guess, startups and what they can do, and then also the universities. So I guess bridging that talent or skills gap, the likes of Trinity College Dublin or University College Dublin. Then what we started to look at really within Blockchain Ireland was, well, we need a chance to bring together the community. Um, and so, well, how do we do that? And we created Blockchain Ireland Week back in 2019. And no, this isn't the totality of Blockchain Ireland Week, if that's what you're thinking. That would be pretty sad. We actually, um, in the first year, we held 45 hybrid events, some in person and um, some online. And it was actually what we looked, or what it felt like, was just looking under a rock and finding all of these great businesses, whether they be enterprises, whether they be semi-states, or whether they be startups, really having just a deep desire to learn more about blockchain technology. So, and this was one of those sessions. Then what we've just had, and you know, a, a big thanks to the Hyperledger Foundation um, and to Daniela um, for participating in Blockchain Ireland Week 2022. And this is what we're looking at. We had 1,500 people over three days back in May. We had the Minister for Finance open the session. Um, and it was really important uh, for him to do so because it just sets the tone for what we're trying to achieve. Um, and so this was the opening speech at that session. There'll be Blockchain Ireland Week 2023, which you're all invited to. Um, but it just shows you that growth. So to go from, I guess, this to this, and that shows, again, the desire for people to get into this space and to learn. Now, what we're looking at here is, this is what the ecosystem looks like today. I know that's small. All this information is available on blockchainireland.ie. But really what's important here is you can see how the ecosystem has grown. And there are some really important anchor tenants which have helped do that. The ecosystem here has never been stronger. It's never been more resilient. There's never been more startups in this space. And that is a sign of a healthy ecosystem. And for me, I'm actually doing research into this area at the moment, what's really important about this is that there are some anchor tenants which are helping to fund research, 
which are helping to upskill people and definitely Accenture being in that list for sure as well as a number of other Hyperledger um, uh, members. So really, really important slide and you can see the growth that's there. If your business is not there, please do get in touch. So where does that bring us up to today? So really where we are today and what's Ireland's ambition and blockchain Ireland's ambition is to establish Ireland as a global blockchain hub or as a Web3 hub. That is our goal. We've created a paper which was a strategy paper to achieve this goal which was submitted to government and there's now a task force being set up to achieve those goals. Also available on blockchainireland.ie. So in short we are working on a range of initiatives, some national initiatives to which we're hopefully going to use some of the tools that you guys have developed. So a big thank you for, from us for doing so. Um, but if you'd like to know more or get in touch please feel free to get in touch with me or through the website. Have a fantastic few days and thank you very much for your time.